After spending the holidays with family, I came back to a half-finished house and all I wanted to do was sit in my big white chair. And that's what I did for a few days. Then I filmed and edited a few videos that didn't require any DIY. And when that was done, I still only just wanted to sit in that big white chair. I watched the snow return and felt the temperatures plummet. The forest wore a thick white coat, but still all I wanted to do was sit in that chair. That chair that lives right in front of that very unfinished wall, which is next on my to-do list. So I had to come up with a plan to drag myself out of that chair and get inspired again. Let's call this my reading nook. It's the side of the room. The last side of the room, which is unfinished. I have been finishing this room for a really, really long time now. <laughs> but I was lacking materials. I was lacking the wood for the walls, but this has finally arrived. This project is quite simple, but it's going to finish the room. And I do have a little bit, something a little bit different planned for this wall right behind me, which I'm excited about. This is the last stage of making this room cozy. I have to say though, ever since coming back from Christmas, I've had a really tough time getting back to being productive. So I have a little plan to do something else before I start. Something else productive that's going to get me going into doing more productive things. Okay, so let's start something else first. Let's finally do something with this desk I made. Last year I bought a stack of fabrics and I thought I would spend a few weeks making a summer wardrobe, but this didn't happen, so I have all of these clothes still left to make. I decided to make some overalls that I can wear when I work on the house. I figured that this would be the perfect way to get out of that chair and get going again. I actually made a sample a few months ago and I decided to get it out of the cupboard and finally make these overalls. So I started with the pattern. I based it on a block pattern for trousers and pretty much improvised the rest. I used this block pattern for trousers to try and design overalls. I completely made it up, so I have no idea if it's actually going to be all that comfortable. I did make a sample piece. Seems okay. I used that to make a final pattern and I cut all of these pieces, so I guess I'm going to start pinning it all together. It worked. My foray into sewing got me active enough to get me back to finishing my little room. I've been on the verge of finishing this library slash dining room for a long time now, but I finally have all the materials and now I'm able to work on the walls and the trim and create the perfect little reading nook backdrop I've been planning right by my bookcase. All the tongue and groove that I'm lining the walls with needs the top and bottom section notched out at the back. It has to fit on top of the original skirting and corner so I can screw it in properly. It's a lot of extra work, but it's the only way I can really attach the planks to the original wall.
Back to the overalls. I'm putting these together bit by bit. These overalls are really not the easiest or fastest thing to make. I make up the steps as I go along and I'm really not quite sure this is how you're supposed to make them. I've never owned overalls before so I just keep on looking at pictures of overalls online and try to copy them. I start with the legs, then add pockets to the front and the back, and then I stitch the two legs together. to get it anywhere because it's very heavy so ideally I take it up to the attic but I don't know if I can take it up there to be honest yeah that's an issue oh, I feel very apprehensive about this maybe it's <laughs> how how am i supposed to do this how is this supposed to happen is this a bad idea i don't can i pull I'm actually really surprised I was able to do that. That door is really heavy. Okay, wow, I did that. <sighs> okay. I feel accomplished.
decided this yesterday. Isn't this the nicest, most calming thing? I love it. So I'm going to finish this bit above the door first and then we're going to have a look at what's happening on that bit of wall and we're going to make a couple of decisions. Just about doesn't line up. I need to fix this. The temperatures plummeted to about minus 20 in the evenings and that's definitely the coldest I've experienced. I love that cold and the crispiness in the air, but I definitely felt the difference. It was cold. The last time I went into town was before the holidays and I was slowly eating through my winter food stock. I was due for a walk because I just haven't walked in so long and it feels so good to be out here and just go for a proper walk. It's absolutely gorgeous. There was some extra snow last night. It's just so pretty. I'm actually just going to the supermarket. <laughs> I'm running out of oat milk. <laughs> I got so many packs of oat milk and I went through all of them. I had about nine, but there's lots of black eyes right underneath this little layer of snow. And slipping with my bike is awful. I've got a bus and I've got about an hour in town then I've got a bus back, so I planned it well. Unlike last time when I went too late, and there were no buses anymore. <laughs> but this is going to work out. So I'm gonna keep on walking. <laughs> Somehow, I couldn't help but buy this. <gasps> How amazing is this? It was in the sale. just relaxing next to the road with my um my chocolates <laughs> You 
now. It gets pretty in a place where I get to home. Look at this tree. It's amazing down here. It's so cute. such a good walk though. I feel like I should do this every week. And then maybe bring less groceries. <laughs> this is very heavy. Okay, this wall is going to be slightly different because I'm going to make a big section here out of ply so that I could put art in front of it. Art or a tapestry or something cute. So we're going to have some this timber continuing at the top and the bottom and then this is going to be a ply background. I just need to decide where exactly I want this to start and finish because I'm very limited on the wood. These are going to be cut into one section for the top and then the rest will be at the bottom but where is that line going to be so i'm going to play around with that now Take. okay so the first option is to just continue the same line as that Okay, option one. But then the other option is to align this with the top of this shelf here. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to do this. All right, one, seven, five. All right. 175 for the top I really like the idea of having a large piece of art pulling this reading nook together and creating an artist's studio kind of feel. An inspiring vignette with art and books making this a workspace and a library for a creative. I actually ordered another book recently so I'm excited about adding another book to my mostly empty bookshelves. <laughs> I've been looking at a lot of books in architecture, woodworking and house building which can be difficult when all you can do is buy online. I don't just want to buy things to fill up my shelves so I'm trying to take my time and find the right ones. Funnily enough, I was left with this last night and this looks more unfinished than it did when this whole wall was still white. But I'm going to put some ply up now. And I have these sheets. I have two of these ply sheets, which are going up here. And I need to cut them to size. The only downside I've just realized is that the grain is actually going in the wrong direction. I do need to build them up. Um, this needs to be flush with this wall paneling. So I'm going to put a couple of layers of this cardboard type material that I have behind it. This is the stuff that I'm going to use. I have a lot of these. When I first ordered all of these sheets, I thought I was going to be using them for 
well, numerous things. They turned out to be slightly different from what I thought I was buying. So and now I have like 10 of them. They're, they're huge. Anyway, so whenever I can use them, I, I use them. I think this stuff is about 3 or 4 mil thick. So I'm going to need two layers of this. Then apply. See, I'm not such a fan of my storage system. At one point I thought that I actually needed three layers so I started cutting more and more and so this is my second layer and I have this perfect third layer which is just one giant piece but then I realized I only really need two layers after all. screws. The cool thing is that I happen to have bought two sheets where the grain continues from one to the other. It looks a little bit crap right now but it's not finished because the next step is to put all of the trim in this entire room which is going to be a lot more work than it sounds and I think adding the trim around this and adding the stain as well is going to make this look nicer or maybe I should just get some art put something in front of it <laughs> I don't know maybe this is a bad idea Okay, I'm a little sad. These are way too big. Yeah, so they're just going to be big.
Okay, so the next job would be trim. My least favorite job, sand wood. I made myself a little schedule. That's what needs to happen. Let's do it. Most of it is here. Some of it might be outside. Let's see if I have the right links. Finally. I just realized I stained it too dark, so this is definitely going to need some art in front of it to lighten it up. Again, this time I had to pick up a package. Oh my gosh! Wow. It's 
started out by raining, then it was snowing, and now it's raining again. I was running out of food, so I did the same thing I did last week. Got my backpack. I bought a little bit less, but it's still a lot. And I, I have this package, which is ginormous, but luckily it's very light, which is why I was able to bring it back. This is so heavy. The road down here to the bus, it's like, it's like an ice skating rink. <laughs> but the main roads seem quite clear, so maybe next week I'll be able to um, take my bike and my trailer and pick up a little bit more. The temperatures have been getting warmer, so the snow is disappearing off the, off the trees and everything. Is there snow on my pack? I am completely drenched, by the way. But we got so many things: fruit, vegetables, tomatoes, more tomatoes, salmon, sweet potatoes, cheese, oranges, Brussels sprouts, blood oranges, oh, apples, and potatoes. Oh, lots more random things. <laughs> I got another few packages. Actually, I'm going to put on something dry first. <laughs> so I'm very cold. I got all of these little things. I've started to realize that I really lack hanging space for things like towels and coats and just little things. So I got some hooks. This is the same type of hook that I have in the kitchen. So I've got three of these for little towels. And then I got more hooks from the same brand, but different ones. Yeah. How cute is that? I have three of these as well and I was going to put them in the boot room, so the back entrance. So I'll have a couple of hooks for just coats. But one of them, I'm thinking of putting it right here. It's very pretty. Okay, so the lights. I'm going to show you the lights I got. fit in the screen. <laughs> I got this light and I actually got two of them. The other one is the shorter version and they are going above my desk. It's been really difficult to find lights that actually give enough light. So many of these nice wall lights take 25 watt bulbs and these can take higher wattage. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure about the gold. There's gold on the inside as well. I don't know whether it's a bit ostentatious, but I can always spray paint it. Other than that, the quality is really nice actually. So, very happy with this one. Funnily enough, the short version that I got, I was actually able to get that one delivered to the house, but not this one. I know what went wrong. The pattern I used was too big. The sample I made, I made to a smaller size and now it's way too big. And I think the only thing I can do to fix it is cut it open right in the middle and make it smaller. And I'm not looking forward to that. But I do have a room. I have a wall for artwork, which looks horrible without artwork, but I have walls and trim and even though I, it feels a little bit anticlimactic for myself it's 
kind of finished. I mean, okay, I'm missing skirting. I probably will be making some holes in my work top for cable management. I might add a bit more decorative trim in a couple of spots. And of course, I really need to find something to put on this artwork wall because it doesn't really look good without it. <laughs> So I put up the two lights that I have. I think I have them at a decent height. It's a little bit difficult to figure out because they're so horizontal, but I need to be able to really shine a good light on my work surface. So I think this is quite a good height. I also put up my little brass hanger, which looks really cute. I really love this hanger. But I think this is a really cute little corner for reading. I have a light right here. I have a comfortable chair. What I really want is a tiny table. And I'm actually thinking of making my own, just a very plain, simple, cute little side table to put right next to this chair. Maybe I should start designing that one. I think that looks good. If only I had light bulbs. <laughs>